Oh my gosh. That is why I have little trust in fast fashion items. As much as I love these guys. No. 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 Karen, they messed up with your pockets. That Amazon, you seriously messed up my girl's pocket design detail. You honestly did. You did. You did. And I'm mad. I tested this out today. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As you guys know, on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So today it may not look that sustainable but keep in mind that these are pieces that you would have in your wardrobe for a lifetime or could be passed on to somebody else i'm very open-minded and once it's something that i know i would get a lifetime wear and please do not listen to people that tells you that as long as you could get 30 wears oh my god seriously 30 wears that's nothing guys you need to get a lifetime wear look at the items you're buying and see whether or not it's something that you could wear forever um other variables aside such as weight gain or whatever else look beyond that crap narrative about 30 wears no guys please buy stuff for a lifetime and if you could pass it down generationally do you know how great it feels to know that my mom has passed away and i have her stuff i still feel so connected to her through her fashion and i love that my dad has passed away and and i still feel so connected to him because this was also one of his the green shirt that you see me often is one of his. I have so many items from my dad that it's been 29 years and I still feel so close to him through his clothing. So guys, those are some of the things that I hope you would take into consideration when buying your items. And the fabric is in line with what I'm looking for. For me personally, this is not an excuse to shop. Yes, I did want to support the chick, you know, has Caribbean background. So as I've said before, I love to support a woman on top. But the only thing I want is that yeah they make me feel proud that I am supporting something worthwhile this is a piece that I know it definitely looks like the Karen Brit chicks dress almost right but it's not so I am bringing it to your attention because this is a vintage piece. I've had this piece in my closet for, as the word vintage implies, 20 years. So I fell in love with this because it has gorgeous colors that are very complimentary. And it has the gorgeous brown. It's a wrap dress. To me, it looks like Diane's piece a DV, DVF piece or Anna. It looks like an Anna piece as well. And so I love it. That's why I say to you, buy things that you see that you could wear for a lifetime. And this is also a reflection of this. When I saw Karen brought out her second dress, I knew that I had something similar. <laughs> Grew up 
been a place if you're conscious of your bust area like I am at times here is today's creativity tip to help you how to find a way to change I had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream I be in my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place, see Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself Wear your boots in the summer. They are great. Do you see men discriminating against their boots in summer? Don't you see men wear their calf length boots in summer? Whatever. They, they are always in boots. That's why their feet are so amazingly soft sometimes. Wear your boots. How else are you going to get your cosplay wear if you don't wear your boots? And if you're just confining them to fall and spring, how, 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 how would you get your cosplay wear? Wear your boots. Even in the Caribbean, I was wearing boots. I know people would look at you strangely, but I love, I love it. I love wearing boots in summer, especially on summer evenings. Guys, and I wasn't even in North America yet. I just loved boots. It's one of those things that next to wide leg, high waisted pants, it's the next best thing for me. Boots. I'm not a bad person, you know. Um, yeah, I take pleasures in a few things and those are the few good things that I love. And of course, you know, the main thing, belts. <gasps> For cargo pants, those are the other ones I didn't get because I have something similar in my closet. And it's this piece. This piece is exactly almost to all, almost to the very last details of what her cargo pants styles are like. And same detail, it has the asymmetrical, and excuse the, the this one is, I was just trying it on, so. It's a bit wrinkled but yeah it has the same asymmetrical style and zipper but this is a vintage piece I've had this forever in my closet it's a piece by the brand Parasuco and the Parasuco denim wear is a street style that I really loved in my 20s absolutely loved it and you know me, I am never a mid-rise or low-waist girl, but I rocked these. And I still have them in my closet today because of that asymmetrical style, as well as the versatility of the hem. Like Karen's piece, you could adjust the hem like so. Really, I really thought that was so innovative, innovative and stylish at the time. And I love unique details. So you could wear it like this. And 
you could wear it totally as a regular leg, like this. So that's one of the reasons why I didn't invest in her cargoes. Overall, these are great items. So my main issues with these two items, well, it's essentially the same style anyway, are one. For me, I know that Karen advised that you buy your size because she makes it generous. I guess it's because of the extra stretch. But for me, when I looked at past reviews on the drop and I look at the way they fitted, I saw that most were very short. I like my pants to sweep the floor. I'm crouching that is when I get the effect of that sweeping the floor moment for this pants this is how I like it like that secondly I had to size up at least two sizes get the length that I'm looking for and I know that Karen said that you could undo the hem but for me I don't think that would be ideal for me personally I don't find it's that big a hem to, I, I don't want to so hence the reason why I bought it that big it still fits nicely I really love the fit of it the only issue because it's bought too big when I'm walking you get this penis like effect yeah <laughs> yes so I just got him one second I'm really hungry I was testing this outside and I am a public transport girl. Trust me, I cannot drive or fly. And I just realized when I was out that these pockets are not functioning well for me. And the irony of this is that my girl, Karen, she's a pocket enthusiast. Oh my God, she goes nuts when an item that she buys has pockets. But guys, I love these. See how great I look? I really look good. And this style, it's very eye-catching. It's very flattering. I love this. This is one of the main reasons why I bought this. But guys, the pockets are so annoyingly shallow. Look at this. This is my hand, my whole hand. Let's see how far it goes. It doesn't even put my wrist in. My wrist, this is where it reaches. It's so shallow, it cannot hold anything. And the stuff, I try putting at my glasses just for a little bit inside my pocket so I could get my bus pass look if I move it it doesn't even fully cover my glasses so if I put it this way it covers it but when I start walking I'm feeling my glasses is coming up because I'm I'm walking you know when you're running in the subway you're moving it's so shallow it's really shallow it's like look this is it this is how little the pocket is there's no depth there's no depth depth how 
How come I can't pronounce that word? There's no depth. Depth. There's no depth. There's no depth. <laughs> it's not deep. Jeez, look. When you have a really nice pocket, your whole wrist is supposed to be in. Let me see the other one. Maybe this is a flaw for this. Maybe the ones that everybody else has are deeper than mine's. But mine's are not deep. And guys, honestly, yeah, I just went to withdraw some blood. It's really, it's not cool. Yeah. See, this is the pocket. Look at how short it is. That is that is a design flaw for me, honestly. See, it's really, really short. So it's not just the blue one. It's both of them. They're very short. Amazon, you seriously messed up my girl's pocket design detail. You honestly did. You did. You did. And I'm mad. At Amazon, not at Karen. It, you want your pocket to reach somewhere, at least here, that your wrist should cover. It doesn't cover the wrist. For example, I'll show you this pants. This is a piece I thrifted a couple months back. Love this pants. It's a suede piece. And it, I believe it's vintage. See, I tell you, they don't make stuff like they used to anymore. Look at this. Well, you can't see it from the inside. But let me show you how deep the pocket is. For demonstration purposes. So this is the pocket. See how far my hand goes in. See? Oh my goodness, guys. This is what you call a pocket. Look, it covers my wrist and it's all the way down here. Almost to the bottom of the hem of the pants. Oh my goodness, look. No exaggeration. See how long it is? See? This is how long it is versus maybe I'll show it on this. See, look, look at how long. It makes no sense. Look. Look at how long. And, guys, Karen probably didn't notice this, honestly. So, for comparative purposes, I'll show you how well my glasses fit into this pocket. And you would know that it's not going anywhere. And my glasses, push it in, and it's lost inside. I have to go digging for it all the way down here. Oh my gosh, that is why I have little trust in fast fashion items. As much as I love these guys. No, no, no. Karen, they messed up with your pockets. That's your thing. Pockets, they are your thing. Oh, that is so sad. I love them, but this is definitely a design flaw that Karen probably overlooked because there wasn't enough time. And that, again, is the issue with fast fashion, as well as the fact she probably didn't realize it. Because this girl 
is all about the pockets for you. She loves a good pocket. So it doesn't make sense that the items that is assigned to her name, this is her brand, doesn't have walkable pockets. Maybe you guys out there who have bought these items, you have pockets that are deeper. Mines are not. Both of them are not. Maybe my thing, hands are too long, but I doubt. I'm just regular. I have the skinniest hands ever. They're not big. So most things just drown my hands because they are so bony. I used to get teased about them all the time. So this doesn't make sense to me. So, oh, sorry, but I had to come and listen because I just got in. And I realized how annoying that was for me today while I was out. I'm sorry, Karen. I love the pieces. It's not your fault. Yes, the issue with all these lines, not just Karen's, is that they are fast fashion. And it embodies fast fashion to the very last T on fast so guys the turnaround was so fast i just hope that in the end the people that worked on amazon the drops are being paid well and fairly and that is another issue that one has to take into consideration because when it comes to fast fashion items, if you're getting your items reasonably priced, somebody along the chain suffers for you to get the item so reasonably priced. For the content creators out there, when you are putting your name to a brand and to a big giant such as Amazon, Oh, guys, you don't want that within the next couple of months, you see your items in the bin or in the donation pile or in some third world country and fields. I've seen so many Canadian brands in the landfills of third world countries. As content creators, you want your pieces to be pieces that people want to repair, like a Gucci piece, like a Versace piece. You want customers or whoever buy your items to feel so good in the knowledge that they have something of such great quality that they're going to repair it. They're going to pass it down generationally and they're going to love it they would not want to put it in a donation pile or throw it in the garbage so consider that when you are assigning your name to another brand it's critical in a disposable culture that you keep this in mind and not just go for the money and i know money is a great incentive and we all need it to survive but we don't want you to go out there and sell your soul for the sake of prosperity there's need and there's there are needs so keep that in mind i shared a quote with my co-workers i can't remember it quite well but it says something to the effect that you need to keep in mind your integrity, your values. Yeah, something to that effect. And in doing so, you are therefore creating an environment where your work reflects this as well as it's more rewarding that way. This is blended fabric. 5% spandex for stretch for me it was absolutely unnecessary when it comes to pants like these 
guys, trust me, it's voluminous enough. The style of it itself makes it very forgiving. And because of that, I honestly don't think you need stretch in these ones. Just buy your size or size up an extra size, which I did. These are extra large. Maybe for the cargos, this is a great option. While I don't like to mix my natural fibers with synthetic ones, it made sense if it was used for the cargos versus the high-waisted ones. I really had confidence in the fact that that fabric would be key to her. And at the same time, I know that many other influencers are doing their very best. And she did amazingly. My only issue is the fact it's blended. Uh, issues in the eco community when it comes to blended fabric it's very difficult to separate the natural from the artificial while technologies are evolving and they are doing great work in this area not many companies still want to invest in that technology when it comes to recycling so there are so many things often that you have to take into consideration. So, because they're made from blended fabrics, here are some tips on how you could treat and care for items that are made from blended fabrics. One thing I would add is that of all the drops that I have been seeing, this is the one that really, really interests me because it's my style definitely my style and this is not me showing bias because she is a black woman on top love that <laughs> she is just creative as well for me and my aesthetic my style her drop is one of the best and I'll absolutely give it a good 8 out of 10 and that for somebody in the sustainable line of business and comparing <laughs> a fast fashion and actually giving a review on a fast fashion item that's quite a lot another issue is that they are newly produced items and they had a quick turnaround from the point of order. Like, we don't really, really need newly produced items anymore. There are enough items out there. What I mean by that is that there's a huge volume of donated, unused, damaged items that often do not make it on the racks within these thrift stores. These could be used to make new items instead of having to depend on newly produced raw materials. Harvesting materials from clothing that, that could be upcycled and create items that your audience regardless of their values, would find just as beautiful and satisfying. So yeah, I must add, what I also love about this line as well, it's that it's made to order. So it has a little bit of a sustainable element to it. So hopefully there is less waste when it comes to made to order because you produce based on what you order so I like that side of it as well love the, what she did with these pieces they are definitely worth the buy if you plan on wearing them for your lifetime so in a nutshell I do love these pieces and I feel comfort in the knowledge that I would be wearing these pieces forever and hopefully pass them on to somebody else who would utilize them well 
but I can say the same for many people out there. Make sure that you buy items that are sturdy, that would last you forever. And at the same time, take care of your items. Much love to Karen Britchick. Do your thing, girl. You rock. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Take care.